What did you make of the scenes that we saw yesterday? Good morning. So it was a bit of a disaster, I think, for the Metropolitan Police who are responsible for policing in London. Um, I think if you look at the policing of the protests yesterday and you look at the policing of the illegal protests that took place on Tower Bridge last week, they set off flares, they blocked traffic. And so I think the Met Police do have a few questions to answer. You might remember last Friday, the Prime Minister set up that he'd be issuing, in collaboration with the Home Secretary, new guidance for police forces up and down the country. Yeah, I mean, it just seems to the average onlooker um, as though the police simply don't know what to do mm. that's right. And you can only surmise that they're not getting the right sort of leadership that they, they each individual policeman deserves, let alone what the public deserve. Right, and within London, that's an issue for the Police and Crime Commissioner, who, of course, is the mayor. Yes, of course. Um, when we're talking about the Cabinet, it does feel as though the Home Secretary, James Cleverley and the like, they are losing patience with the scenes that we're seeing on a Saturday. James Cleverley last week saying, I think you've made your point now. And then we've got Michael Gove this week in the, in the Telegraph uh, telling goodwilling people, his message to goodwilling people, uh, to not march alongside extremists. Well, it's not only cabinet ministers that are losing, losing their patience. I think many people in London are losing it too. Um, you find the former cabinet minister, Robert Jenrick, wrote last week in the Daily Mail discussing the impact of these protests. I think you find that actually a lot of Jewish people feel unsafe in the city at the weekend, and that's an unacceptable outcome.